Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Michelle's here joining me still. I haven't left yet. <laughs> and we're just trying something simple this uh, time around. I've got Szechuan Tears. This is going to make us cry. <clears throat> I suppose if you put that in your eyes, you'd probably cry. We're going to cry Szechuan. Szechuan. It, it's a spiced chili oil. Pick this up at the grocery store. Just going to be something different to try. We'd like different. So. It is made in Canada. <laughs> so am I. Are you sure you were made in Canada? I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm, I'm definitely sure. I mean, when they picked me up at Area 51, there was that little bit of a... Yeah. Okay. So ingredients. Vegetable oil and spices. <clears throat> May contain sulfites. Oh. That's it. <laughs> um... Inspired from the cuisine and culture of ramen and yeah, bursting with tingling and a, yeah. Tingling. I don't know if I would be bursting Szechuan with tingling. spice. The spice chili oil is versatile and delicious. Add to anything you would usually have with hot sauce. Made with all natural uh, products without the use of additives or preservatives. There you go. Made in Crafty Ramen, or made by Crafty Ramen. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't say where in Canada, it just says made in Canada. So craftyramen.com. Well, there you go. Is that. Uh... Okay, some of the spices I think have settled in the bottom. Give it a shake. Oh, that's hard. I need to make these bottles softer. <laughs> Shake it up. You can peel. I got no nails. I don't know. Let's pull fab or... I don't know. Since my kniffle is still on holidays, <clears throat> we haven't made up yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either after that insult. My fault. It didn't like being called a spoon. <laughs> oh no, I need more claws. I might have to go and find another <clears throat> kniffle. Can't do that. Then it would get jealous. <laughs> it, might, it might never come back. Here, use a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> so since we can't we're bringing a bullet into a knife fight <laughs> not a gun just a bullet oh, oh wait I might have progress okay it's not pretty but it works so since it is liquid I don't want to drink it <clears throat> Trusty toothpicks back again. I want the smaller one. They're all the same size. No, they're not. Unless the tip's broken. And if they, if they got a broken tip, that's a whole different bottle. Of game. <laughs> and then you just flick it at the camera. Pew! Or it's got a regulator on it. Oh. Does it smell? <clears throat> oh, it does a little bit. I wouldn't say it smells spicy. No. It smells kind of... Savory? Well, I'm not expecting anything super spicy, but... I don't know how far in this goes. Probably all the way. <laughs> <laughs> the hole goes right through, so... Okay. <laughs> oh, just gotta balance the oil. So I noticed that there's a little bit of, like, uh, spices on the top. Cheers. Definitely oil. You're not used to being oiled. <laughs> oh. That's got a weird taste. Not what I expected, because it's got almost like an allspice or a... Yeah. Like a, an odd... Almost, um... Not... It's not anise. But no, but it's something similar. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's got that similar type, how anise has that distinctive taste. Like, it's not how I would expect uh, an Asian-based sauce. No. 
It's kind of got more like a Mediterranean. But it's very, it's very oily. Like obviously it's an oil, but yeah. it's very. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of kind <clears> of <throat> weird. Like it might be good to use, like if you're wanting to mix it in with something to. But this regulator just like. Yeah, that's yeah. two drops. Yes, I didn't think that it would be a regulator on it, but... Yeah, it's odd because it almost tastes like, um... Like toasted sesame seed or something, but it, it's very, the very sesame bland. seed would make sense for Szechuan. Yeah. But it's very, like, it's not super spicy. No, I didn't expect it to be spicy. It was just, it was something... It's different. Weird. It's a chili oil. Because the thing is, you say chili. Jalapenos are chilies. Um, yeah. Green peppers are I kind of chilies. I was hoping it would have more of an Asian <clears throat> flavor base, which maybe maybe it does. Probably, it would be if you were doing a stir fry, it would be a great thing to add to a stir fry. Yeah, to cook your veggies in. Yeah. But it's not going to add a lot of flavor. No. It's just going to be something very subtle. It's like, oh, I, I want to use oil. Here, let me use this stuff. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a flavor palette to it, but not a lot. No, yeah, it just for me, I'm just literally getting like the oil. <clears throat> it's like when you, when you ha do homemade fries or whatever you cook yeah. them in the oil. It, if you get that in your mouth, that kind of yeah. yeah. No, it's it's certainly oily. Mind you, homemade French fries, not with this, but homemade French fries are always really good. Like, That's I, true. I can actually go for those right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing. No. But for a couple bucks for what I paid no. for this, I'm not complaining. Um, it's definitely... I wouldn't put that on ramen or whatever. What I would do is just, like, if I was cooking, like, small amount of stuff, I'm like, oh, instead of margarine or butter in the pan or, like, regular oil, just yeah. throw a bit of that in. Yeah. You could throw it in to just grease up the pan for whatever yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it does... It has a nice oil taste. It doesn't taste like, you know cheap oil. It doesn't taste like grease from McDonald's. It tastes like Yeah, it's it's all it's quality. all lard based. Yeah. Yeah. It's actual oil. So yeah. I was kinda of hoping it would be like actual chili oils. Oh yeah, I was it. hoping that there'd be more flavor. But you but get what you get. I typically don't read the ingredients when I look at something. It's like, oh a couple bucks, I'll try it, right? I didn't even notice that it was literally just Vegetable oil and spices. Yeah. So it's really, that's that's all I'm tasting it more than less than anything. It's yeah. the vegetable oil. It's more of like a Mediterranean <clears throat> spice than an Asian based spice. Yeah. Like there's is, there's no heat scale on this at all. Which is <clears throat> fine. I mean, it, it would be good for roasting vegetables, or whatever in a pan. Yeah, like I said, stir fry. And yeah. You could probably add it if you wanted to add something a little different into a hamburger or something like that. If you're doing something like that, it might add a little bit of yeah, but because there's the actual grease and oils in that, <clears throat> yeah, really not much else to, that you can do with it. But then there's people who would probably buy this and use like half bo a bottle and something because yeah. that's what they're wanting to do. And at that price, you can't complain no. for a couple meals. No, but yeah, so it's an interesting sauce or. Oil. Oil. Used to say, so used to saying sauce, but it's an interesting item. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think on that one, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do the usual stuff. Michelle's info will be in the description okay. as well. Why? As usual. Uh, yeah, if, if you've ever had this or, or used it in anything, like, if you have any recommendations for yeah. it. drop some food yeah. recommendations. Is not something I've ever used before. Yeah. And it'd be interesting to see what you guys have to say. Because obviously if you're watching this, there's some connection with taste-wise, I'm hoping. <laughs> or you just like to see people suffer. Either way. <laughs> Probably a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. A little bit of column E, G, and H somewhere down the line. A little bit of column WTF. It works. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of what WTFs of people watching. That's what I'm doing. Sometimes I wonder too, but <laughs> anyways, we'll see you later. Have a good one.